want to not be on my team. Good morning, everyone. It is like 10 a.m. I went to bed pretty late, like around 3 a.m. I feel like on the weekends, I always end up um, staying up extra late. But I'm about to get ready to go do my community service. <clears throat> I kind of decided I'm just going to do three hours today and then three hours tomorrow um, so that I am have at least 35 hours this week. And then next week, we're going to try to get at least 15 hours in. So that'll be at 50. And then I only have to do 10 hours my last week, so I should be done by July 12th, which is about two and a half, um, or I started at the end of May. July 12th would be about six weeks. Um, and then I have to make my payment Monday for my fine. Oh, excuse me. Um, because I got off, I got home too late <clears throat> um, from work and I didn't have the money order already. So I'm just gonna do it Monday before work. Go ahead and um, have my money order, get my money order and pay the majority of my fine. And then I'm paying the rest of it July 12th. So that's why I'm giving myself to till the 12th to have everything um, paid off. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm just making my bed and then I'm gonna um, probably not eat breakfast, but I might grab an iced coffee from Chick-fil-A just because I have a free one in my app and then head to my community service. on my bed I know but this is what it looks like when I actually make it up all right here's my outfit for my ring lights in the way my outfit for today is what I actually wore after work yesterday <laughs> Also, y'all probably can't tell, but I reorganized my makeup area. So, the biggest things are I put all of my NYX butter glosses, um, or a majority of them, on display up here. This is not all of them. Um, I put some more lip glosses in this little organizer. So, I have my cream shop lip products it's all of these these this one and these this is all my Paris Hilton <laughs> lip oils and then I organized my um what is this called Too Faced 
lip products. So I have the Hangover Pillow Balm, that one, the pink one, and then I have some mini ones, Pillow Balms. This is the sparkly one. This is another sparkly one. And then I have the new Kissing Jelly Gloss. So I have the grape soda and then cotton candy. So this is pretty much all my Too Faced lip products. So yeah, that's basically all the changes. And then moved, this used to be sitting on top of here, but I just moved it over here so it has its own little section. Obviously I have a lot of makeup. This is like new or products I wanna, new products I wanna use. And then I have, I was looking for all of my cream shop um, eyeshadow palettes, so I found them um, all yesterday. I thought I had more, but I actually don't. So that's whatever. And then this is some new makeup I still haven't used. All right, y'all, it's closer to 11 now. So I'm just gonna do 11 to two. Um, I wanted to show y'all how I fix my hair. These glasses either make me look like a grandma or cute. It's just like, I never know which one. Which is gonna, how it's gonna turn out. So I use my, this perk up dry shampoo from amika on my braids when they start getting a little raggedy or smelly to help my hair um one not smell bad because you don't want to be walking around with stinky hair um, but also helps with my scalp a little bit. I feel like my hair in, in braids, it grows really fast, but also I think because I don't braid super tightly, I'm always like, feel like my hair is always, the roots are always like, overgrown after like a couple of weeks so the only solution is either i have to retwist them or just let my hair be um sorry wrong earring or just let my hair oh i need to take some medicine my stomach is hurting pretty badly right now Whew hate when I have cramps but anyways I'm about to head to my community service now I'm running a little bit behind schedule but I don't really have a set schedule for when I wanted to go I just knew I was gonna go in the morning whenever I woke up so it is now the morning. I also ended up doing some like random cleaning last night. So I straightened up my bathroom. I shouldn't call it cleaning. I should call it straightening up because that's really what all I did was straighten up um, the areas around areas in my bathroom, my bathroom and my room. Um, because it was looking really bad. This necklace is given Y2K vibes. And then this little lip mask from Bath and Body Works has been my favorite lip product to use for like the past week. Like, first of all, it makes my lips look so glossy like better than some lip gloss and it moisturizes my lips really good and it smells really good like bananas all right 
right, I think we are all ready now. All right, y'all, so they gave this one girl credit for 10 hours today. I guess like she needed to go home or something, but um, I got five hours for today, so it's 2 p.m. now, and I am, I never know which, which way I should go to get um, out of here. We're about to go home. I'm hungry, so I think I'm gonna get like a chicken, um, a chicken, a salad, sorry. The Cobb salad from Chick-fil-A. I think going to the left takes me back downtown. So we're gonna have to try to use our memory to get home. Chick-fil-A, I should say. Oh shoot, I forgot I needed to go to Walmart and exchange this top. I'll just do it after I eat my food. But um, I'm glad I got some hours in today. And I might also try to go tomorrow, but I haven't decided yet. Regardless, I'm going to be done with all of my hours by the 12th, so just got to make sure I go in at least four times each week for at least um, three to five hours and I'll be good. Ugh, this Chick-fil-A's layout is crazy. I did treat myself to a peach milkshake because I haven't had it one in so long and these are so good. Oh, these are like the best milkshakes Chick-fil-A has. This necklace. I don't know what earrings. I think I'm just gonna put on some hoops. These little gold hoops. And call it a day. to do with my hair either. All right, that's my outfit. It looks like it's gonna rain. Though I tried to do my edges, this is not looking very good though. Let's 
go find my sister. like some videos and stuff of the house it's pretty nice and they have it decorated really nicely so that's good um but yeah i'm headed home it's almost 8 p.m so i was there i got there closer to 5 30 so about two and a half hours they didn't start with the food till about seven so we just finished eating. I got me a to-go plate, um, as well as some to-go dessert. So I'm excited to eat that. I still, even though it's a nice house, I'm like, I do not want to move out here. Like I would move out here as like a last result resort, but I really don't want to. Mainly because I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to have to start over all over again, you know, but I would rather start in like, um, what an a-hole, going the speed limit and this person pretty much just passed me just to be a jerk, yep, I do not want to live here, it's kind of like the middle of nowhere, um, and that's the thing i feel like georgia is like a bigger state than people realize and there's so many different places here that you could live and they're all very very different all right two thousand years later all right guys i got back kind of late i watched the after sun love island episode and we're about to go to bed. I feel pretty exhausted. Did a lot of driving today, so. Here's the room as the moment. Yes, I have a lot of stuff, I'm aware. All right, good night, guys. <laughs>
get out. Alright, I'm back home from church. I am about to take a nap, eat some food. I'm very tired. I do have leftovers from my dad's party. I made sure I took me a plate. I wasn't actually planning to take anything, but since my sister got her some, I was like, I might as well get some. Um, the food they had was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna eat that and then take a nap. I feel so tired still. All right, y'all, I'm about to go to Walmart. I need to exchange um, one of the tops I bought. It was actually a top I bought for the specifically to wear on 4th of July. So, I wanna make sure I hopefully can find one in my size. If not, I'll just probably keep the one I have. It is very warm outside and my car window unfortunately still has not gotten fixed. I've been trying to keep this there. This is the tape I put. You can still see some broken shards of glass that got stuck to it. But this is what I have until I get it fixed. Ooh, and some sort of bug looks like it's stuck to the inside. Ew. All right, I'm back in Walmart. And... They did not have the shirt in a um, better size, so I'm just gonna keep the one I have. I did find another option though, so I'm about to go see, look in the skincare and see what they have. Um, there is so much clearance in my, the um, Walmart I'm in. But I got my money order to make my payment tomorrow. So, got that taken care of. It's only a dollar fee, which is really, really cheap. So, I'm not mad about that. I thought it was going to be like 2 or $3, but it's literally $1. Alright guys, we're about to go check out. I found more stuff than I needed. But the main thing is I got my money order so that I can get my stuff paid off. And then my next paycheck is when I'll pay off the rest of what I owe. All right, y'all. Every time I go to Walmart, I end up spending more money than I wanted. And it makes me so mad. I also feel like every time... Like, the prices that things scan as are never the prices that are posted 
for the item so it's like you're always paying more it's like i feel like that's the other reason like the only times things scan is the way they're ticketed is if there's a clearance sticker on it but like all the other times i scan like especially like in the grocery section i've noticed so many things prices don't match what's listed so i spent like 50 dollars and i put back like um these waters because they said they were six dollars when i went to or four dollars when i went to check out they were six dollars and then i had the same thing with like these um I got like a mini mini Dr. Peppers to put in the mini fridge in my bedroom and they rang up like 50 cents more than what they were listed as so it's just annoying but the main thing is I got my um, money order and that was the main thing I needed and I was really going to exchange these clothes um, this top that I ended up keeping so the only I guess useful thing I did was get my money um, get my money order so I can make my payment tomorrow I was supposed to make it on Friday but I didn't have enough time by the time I got off work work and I didn't have the money order yet so I would have had to um, it would have been like I wouldn't I wasn't gonna be able to get to the place in time because I had to stop to get my money order and then I would have to go to the place and it's like 20 minutes away so we're just making our payment tomorrow before work and yeah I feel a lot better though now that I made I'm making a payment and then I only have to make um pay 757 more dollars which I'll be able to pay after I get paid again so I'm almost done with my community service I'm over halfway done hoping to be done in the next two weeks so as long as I get at least 15 hours this week I'll be done before the end of by the time I get my next paycheck so that is our goal for this week get 15 hours which means i have to do at least three hours um monday through friday i might not go in on thursday though which is fourth of july but we'll see most likely i will I'll be off so I, honestly i might as well just go in but I might switch the 4th for Saturday. I don't know yet. But we're almost done. And that's the main thing. Alright, I ordered a Sunday from Sonic. Because I had a reward for a 99 cent Sunday. So that is my little treat myself. I'm really excited for today's episode of Love Island. I got three more hours. It's only six. So I'm going to go home, eat the rest of my leftovers, and get some. I need to do laundry. Or I already started doing laundry, but I need to finish laundry and clean up my kitchen. And those are the only two or last productive things I'm going to get done today. But I think I like having Sundays off completely. Honestly, I only need one day off a week. Like my weekends, I like having two days off. One day, like Saturday, I try to do something productive. So I do my community service hours. And then I just took off all, have all Sunday to like mainly just relax and I feel like I feel better doing that than like if I spend two days not doing anything productive because I don't know I feel a lot better relaxing knowing I like worked for the majority of the week yay my Sunday hello thank you yum 
the last time I had this, my friend had ordered it for me. I was just like being nice. And back home we go. I feel like Sonic has really good deals, honestly. $1.99 queso wraps. I want to try one of those. I should have looked and would have gotten that for a snack. That's okay. I can try it another time. All right. All right. Here's a quick Walmart gross, well, just haul. I'm not even call it groceries. I got a strawberry Fanta. I got my iced coffee. This is a caramel macchiato flavored. And it says 75% less sugar. So I don't know what that means. I'm trying to figure out what they put in this. Maybe they just use, um, it says zero added sugar. So I guess it's all just flavor. Then I got the little mini Dr. Peppers, which I'm gonna put in my mini fridge in my room. Um, this is not really from the haul. That was what I was gonna exchange. And then they had these chips on sale for $2, so I got some wavy and cheddar sour cream. <laughs> And then here's all the extra, well, most of this was non-essential, but I found these cute little shorts for $5. Um, this cute little bandana top I might wear for the 4th of July. It was also $5. And then a bunch of clearance makeup. I got this little blueberry bubble sheet mask. I um, got this for a dollar. It was one of those items that wasn't marked the correct way. Um, I also found this little Wet n Wild Brow and Lash Serum Gel for $3. So I'm excited to try that. I found this blush palette from, I'm not sure, uh, Profusion. So it was $3.37. I got some more pimple patches. This about face pleat the fifth face mist. This is so s small. I might return that because I probably really don't need it. I thought it was clearance and I don't think it was. And then I found some butter gloss. So I got the merengue. This one was three and then this peaches and cream for 350. And that's everything. And then my Sonic Strawberry Sunday.